Hey everybody, it's Amy. Um, I'm coming you to you today without makeup on, it's true. Um, and I'm coming a little bit early today because Mary actually can't be on with me today, sad but true. And I have something at 11 that I am going to be doing. So I decided to jump on here early and just do a really quick live. Um, I don't know how everyone else is doing, but I have been struggling with my eating and struggling uh, to just like reset. And I keep having to reset over and over and over again. And so is anyone else struggling with that? Because I totally am. But I just wanted to share a book that I just got. Um, I've been following this girl on her blog for quite a while. And she takes, well, I'm going to show you two books, but I, I've talked, I think we've talked about this book before, Eat to Live. Um, it's a fantastic book, so I highly recommend it. But she, the, this girl, this other book that I got, she follows what is called a nutritarian diet. And so that comes from Eat to Live, which is basically a whole foods plant-based diet. Um, I have never been a, a absolutely a hundred percent um, like not eating meat, but for the most part, I've changed my cooking quite a bit in the last several years to be much more vegetarian and much more some sometimes vegan. So I just wanted to show you this book. It's called Fridge Love. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that so beautiful? If I can span, span out a little bit. Um, it's just a beautiful book. It's a beautiful uh, layout and this woman, her name is Kristen Hong and she, uh, uses the blog Hello Nutritarian. I think that's what it's called. So, um, I just got this book and I started reading it yesterday and I love it. It she goes into a lot of like detail about fridges and how to optimize your fridge. Um, her family is mixed eating. So she eats vegan basically. Um, but her family does not. And so I love that because that's how my family is as well. So she talks a lot about how to navigate that. And she does a lot of food prep. I haven't made it through the whole book, but I just wanted to share like what has been inspiring me. And, and she has kind of just different suggestions for lots of different things. So check it out. Maybe see if it's at your, li your library. She's been featured on, I think it's Good Morning America and a few different places. Um, just sharing her strategy for eating well and eating healthy. And even if you just take like baby steps towards that, I think it's awesome. So that's all I'm going to say today. We're not doing a live or long live today, but we'll be back again very soon with Mary with me. And I get to see her this week because she's coming to visit me and coming for a conference that she's coming to Utah with. So I hope everyone's having a health empowered day. Please let us know how we can help you to empower your own health. And we'll see you again soon.